We are back with the latest Rangers news. I can't lie about it. It is a wee bit dead the day, but we won 3-2, right? And it was it was great. Great comeback. Shite first half, but the second half was good. Michael Bielera is off to a good start. But Ryan Porteous linked when it moved to Rangers, scored the opening goal for Hibs, but I know his reaction, right, is or celebration, sorry, was like, you know, oh that would put that put any talk of a Rangers move on ice. I feel like the complete interview that he had before the game did, because he said that he wants to just completely move out of the league. He wants to get a Scotland starting spot. Not that like he couldn't move to the Rangers and get into the Scotland squad, because of course he could. He's got into the Scotland squad playing at Hibs. But it's weird that he completely said that when he was playing for Scotland, training with Scotland, and then he went back to training with Hibs, it was just shit. And it was just nowhere near the level he wanted to be at. And it's like amazing that Hibs are playing him. And it, you can kind of understand why Hibs put that tweet out, even though I thought it was very weird why Hibs put that tweet out. And uh, he basically says he wants to move to a different league. So he's ruled himself completely out of the transfer to Rangers. I wouldn't have minded him personally. Quite a few comments on the channel here for loads of people saying that they wouldn't have minded him either. And uh, he's like, Marmite, if you like him, you like him. If you don't, you don't. And... Uh, He's a prick, but if, he's, if you have him, he's your prick. Sadly, we're not going to get him, unless there's a drastic change in my opinion. Um, so that is the transfer part of this video. Ryan Porter is not coming to Rangers. and uh, But we do have the penalty talk here. We've got the unanimous decision from the guys I've spoken to is that it should have been a penalty kick there. Bernie and ex-SPFL ref and says Hibs were denied spot kick. Is now Nick Walsh Rangers call wrong? And as we look at the incident, it was a handball from James Sands. Apparently, I actually didn't no <coughs> notice this during the game. And it, to be honest, it didn't even look like any Hibs players appealed it at the time. I believe this was actually at 2-1. And this could have made it 3-1. But they didn't look at it. I can't actually recall Hibs appealing it and it's one of those ones where the ball has actually fell out of the sky and Sands has had n he's not aware of it and it's come down and cracked him on the arm and then it's like flicked off the Hibs guy don't know if it hit the Hibs guy where it hit the Hibs guy it could have been a handball on the Hibs guy as well like but like, at the end of the day it still would have hit Sands um first but it says here Nick Walsh the referee at the time he didn't point to the spot when the ball struck James Sands's arm in the box um well actually it was during the second half must have been when it was 2-1 Still, of course, we made it to each in the 58th minute. And then the VAR official, Alan Muller, didn't flag the incident or whatsoever. So it's weird. Of course, the Celtic fans being obsessed are getting stuck into this. But we see it in England. We see it at the World Cup. You know, so it's not that some teams get preferential treatment, even though I do think there is, in terms of big teams, do. I think you definitely see that in the Premier League. You know, like Norwich are not going to get the same sort of decisions that a Liverpool and United are. Oh, I do genuinely believe that. But, you know, and I think not put bias to one side, I think Celtic have been dealt some pretty shit hands when it comes to VAR. But then again, so have Rangers, you know, and uh, this one, I think it's it's balled a hand because it's, it's dropped out the sky and hit him and he's completely unaware of it. You know, he's not fucking flung his arm up and wiped the ball at the, at the sky. Like, you know, it's, it's one of those ones. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Ryan Porteous not joining Rangers. And in my opinion, that's not a penalty, right? But it doesn't fucking matter because it's 3-2. The gap's six points. Celtic play Aberdeen tomorrow at midday. Until next time, peace.